Our Hooved Hero has returned with another exciting installment of this randomized Pokemon Nuzlocke and Heart Gold. We've made it past the first rival battle and have touched down in Violet City. But before challenging Faulkner for our first gym badge, we have to make it through the stages of Sprout Tower. Am I up to the task, or is it back to the beginning? Welcome to Goatly Goat Gaming. New episodes every Sunday. Welcome on back for episode 3 of my randomized Nuzlocke through Pokemon Heart Gold. My Johto journey continues. A quick little rundown of where we are from last time. A quick little recap. We've made our way to Violet City. We have our starter Pokemon, the Underminer, our Rhyperior, the tank with suction cups, but with a shell bell, so I can't argue with that. We have our uh, partner here, Snoop, the Oddish, with multi-type, if I find an Arceus plate, that's pretty cool, and then we have Torch the Numel with Tangled Feet, so kind of weird abilities all the way around, but we are looking to get some more partners for tonight, we are co continuing on here, we uh, have a level cap for 13 with the gym in Violet City here, uh, that being the leader Faulkner, but first we are going to start off by going to the Sprout Tower. Before we tackle the tower, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, I'm just kidding, but if you could hit the like and subscribe button, well that would just make me a happy goat. Cool? Cool. Oh yeah, I uh, bought some balls and healing items by the way. Now back to the Nuzlocke. And then I'll go collect other routes. I also realized I missed uh, the possible Route 46 encounter uh, before leaving the Newbark area uh, before Cherry Grove City, but I I'll go back for that later in the game. It's good to know that I at least have it at my disposal. Um, I was going to say, I should be battling monks here, right? <laughs> hopefully hopefully nothing too crazy. Sage Nico, starting off, the starting off with Skarupi, which I feel like I should be fine. Okay, maybe not using Absorb for Maybe Acid. Acid is much better in this case. Okay, that's cool. Maybe get a point of health back here. Ooksie. Oh, with Psychic moves? That could be problematic. Like that. Okay, cool. But we, we make it through. Snoop, Snoop's hanging on. Snoop's... Oh, my God. For Alligator? With the sun up. Oh, <laughs> Snoop. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wade, what's up, buddy? You have more devastating Pokemon for me? Oh, you got berries for me. That's that's actually not bad. I wonder if those berry gifts are randomized, too. I should go back and take a look at see and see what Wade's got for me. In the meantime, what's this? Twisted Spoon. That's dope. Uh, I think that raises psychic Pokemon attacks. Okay, another Sage. What you got for me? See, oh, you got a Vulpex. Uh, I feel like Acid is the uh, name of the game here. I'm going to start working on Torch, actually, because I don't want to overlevel my Pokemon by accident here. And I'm going to need to really consider that. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, wait, no, you know what? On the other hand, Underminer sounds like a really good idea here. Sounds like a phenomenal idea. Extreme speed, dude. Can I have Togekiss? Excuse me. Chingling. Okay. Uh, Snoop, help me out here. Because Chingling is... Beans. All right, let's uh, heal up Torch. Because that absolutely needs to happen. I need to move Torch up to the front so I can start Switch training him, too. Because uh, Snoop and Underminer are doing pretty, pretty well by themselves. Soul do? What does that do? What is the soul do? What do the soul do? Oh, wondrous orb to be held by Latios or Latios. Hel raises both the special attacks and a uh, special attack and defense. That's dope, dude. If I get Latios or Latios as one of my random encounters, I will be so happy. We've got a perfect item for it, obviously. Okay, Weavile. I feel like we're okay. I mean, Numble's a pretty weak Pokemon, and that Leer's gonna kind of do me dirty there. Okay, so I don't think we're in... Okay, that Leer is gonna do me the worst. So let's get Torch out of here, because that's gonna be very bad very soon. Okay, yeah, the quick attack was gonna be bad. We see it coming, though. L of course, now they've got a Latios. That's too funny. That is perfect timing. Hey, uh, I've got a, an orb that I seen. I think you dropped it, uh, Sage. I think you dropped the orb that was uh, chilling on the floor back there. Warm a dam, huh? Warm a dam. Boy, I, oh, that's perfect. Perfect timing for Torch. I love that, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually. I, I'm gonna need to find a, a Pokemon to encounter. Thank you. Perfect timing for that. Cause I was gonna say I'm gonna need something. Oh my god. 
God, Mawile? Ugh, could have been so much better. I, I actually, I don't know that. I don't know what else is in this building. All I know is that Mawile is definitely a Pokemon. Definitely a Pokemon. Steel type, if I'm not mistaken. So I can't hit it with the uh, Ember. I, man, you a frail Pokemon, Mawile. Uh, I'm going to go to Rhyperior so I can start just throwing balls with safety. Because I might, I mean, I, obviously I should catch this thing anyway. It is a Steel type. Maybe it's got a good ability. The Deceiver Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to call this thing Underbite to go along with Underminer. Actually, it's, it's an Overbite, really, is what I should I should name it. That makes it more appropriate. It's got big old chompers. Overbite. There we go. Perfect. Let's take a look at Overbite and see what this Pokemon has to offer. Rain Dish. The Pokemon gradually... Okay, this is not bad. I mean, it, it's terrible for the sake that I have no rain to set up. It's nature's neutral, so that's not the worst thing. It knows Astonish. That's it. That's bad. That thing... That That's terrible. That's not a good Pokemon. That is not a good Pokemon. I... I feel... I feel... I feel duped. <laughs> I feel... I feel taken... Uh, taken for a ride in this Tower of Sprouts. Uh, oh, boy. Alright, let's keep moving up, though. I think that... Isn't there a rival battle in here? Or no, this is just the, the test with the sages, I think. So, yo, that's huge. Okay. That's actually kind of nice. Getting evolution items in this, especially for the randomizer element, that's going to be pretty cool. Across time. Finding Pokemon that are going to be... That I obviously need that item for to, up, to evolve. Clutch. Uh, Torch, this is not the battle for you, sir. In the hail. Okay. Um, hmm. Star you a snow warning. I kind of want to keep that in mind for down the road in case I do find a star you, because I kind of like that, actually. I mean, it, it's going to hurt the star you, but I do kind of like the ability. Right, yeah, I'm going to hit that speed up button because I ain't got time for this. On to the next sage. On to the next sage. On to the next sage. Politoed. That is a very dangerous thing for Torch as well. Snoop, help me out here. That's doable. Okay. And we still have room for Snoop to, to gain its level two. That's kind of nice. Because I'm worried. I, I am really am over worried about over leveling it on the way into uh, Faulkner. Bro, could you not, Torch? Torch, I'm begging you to, to just not do the do the thing that's in front of you right now, which is to be knocked out. Jeez, I'm crow. All right then, Underminer, help me out here. <laughs> so about my fire type, uh, I you know that was a very avoidable loss. Okay, Giratina, you're a ghost type. I can't do anything here. Okay, um. <clears throat> Do I lose? Am I about to lose Snoop because I I chose a oh 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 my god this is gonna be so bad isn't it? Uh oh, uh oh I've done bad things here. I, do, am I am I about to wipe to a sage in the Sprout Tower? Like this this can't this cannot be. This this just cannot be. Oh my god I might. Oh no. I mean Overbite has. This is crazy to th actually think about. Like, Overbite has... Astonish. I can't do any damage. I'm actually going to wipe to a Giratina in the Sprout Tower. That's insane. Dragon Breath and Ominous Wind. What do I do here? Hang on a second. This is actually kind of bad. Snoop's paralyzed. Oh, Snoop is paralyzed. Hang on a second. I can do something about that. I don't have any... Oh, my... God, that's so bad that I have no more potions. I even bought that extra one on my way in here. Ominous Wind, how much damage are you going to do to me? Seven damage. Bro, that is so bad. I think I wipe here. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. Um... That's unfortunate. <sighs> Overbite, what can you do for me here? I mean, Astonish is the only thing that you have. You're level 3. You're not going to be able to do any damage to this thing. You're not even going to outspeed this thing to do damage. I didn't have a potion for you. Snoop's the only thing that's going to be able to do damage to this thing, which means I have to sack something in order for Snoop to have a, even a shot at doing damage. Which means I have to sack Overbite. If there's any play here, if there's any play here, it's sacking Overbite. But I don't think this is going to go well for old Goatly here. No, oh, dude. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, Snoop, you are literally my only hope here. You and Absorb, Snoop. And the Dragon Breath is going to be enough to take me down. Damn, man. Oh, it's not, but it paralyzes me again. Oh, Snoop, no! Mm. And Rhyperior doesn't have anything to hold on at this point, man. I, I gotta hope I get through that. Oh, man, there's nothing. There's nothing. Ah. And I can't do anything with Underminer because it doesn't know anything but normal attacks. Again, just because strong Pokemon look strong does not mean strong Pokemon be strong. That's the lesson that I've learned here in this in this Nuzlocke uh, twice now. Twice now. I can't do anything. It's just going to take me down. I literally... That's, that's, that's the run right there. That sucks, man. Uh, well, guys, I'll see you for run three right now. Now, all right, we're back for run number three. Let's see who our starters are this time around. And again, we learned our lesson. Just because strong Pokemon look strong does not mean strong Pokemon be strong. That being said, let's not get sucked into the options. All right, let's see. We got camera up to start. That's not bad. I don't. I don't know if I hate that. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm not sure if I hate it. Let's see what else we have here. We've got not to. It's intriguing option. Psychic type has some room to evolve. Possible room to grow. Who knows? And then Absol. Interesting. Absol's. I mean. <clears throat> This is not the best starter selection here. I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with not to. I'm gonna go with the unassuming, the un, the definitely not the, the most inspiring option. But you know what? Again, we've been deceived by the strongest looking Pokemon before. I'm gonna go with the not to now and make sure that it's something that you know is is it's 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 it is it be what it be. You know, nothing is nothing. It's unassuming, but uh, it's still friend. You know, uh, nickname for not to. Let's see here. I'm gonna go with. Let's go with Burb. Simple Burb. Simple, unassuming Burb. And then we'll take a quick look and see what Burb has to offer as an ability and a nature and all that fun stuff in a move pool. Let's take a look here. All right, Burb, what do you have for us? It, suction cups again. <laughs> Peck, though. Peck is a good move for flying. I like that. That's good coverage. Neutral nature. All right, that's not the worst. I, I, we could we've, we've, We could have had worse. We could have had worse. I'm curious to see which Pokemon the rival takes. I mean, because Absol and Camerupt, not bad Pokemon in their own regards. Obviously, both of them got Megas, so that clearly they're 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 decent enough Pokemon. Let's run home. We'll grab the Poke Gear from Mom. Uh, run past Mom, I mean. The classics. All right, guys. You think we're gonna do better on this run? I think we're gonna do better on this run. I think we're gonna have a, a, a way better time this time. I'm going to stop saying that my, my starter is going to live uh, for a while. Flashback. I mean, a dragon starter is broken. We're, we're not going to lose Rhyperia for a long time. End of flashback. Clearly, it's uh, a matter of luck and happenstance. <laughs> and uh, uh, you never know when you're going to run into a Giratina. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, again, clearly we are not starting the encounters until I have Pokeballs. Uh, but that said, let's see if we can get a little bit of experience off of the Huntail in front of me here. Not bad. Good job, Burb. Good job. Good start. Also, I love the fact that we're able to kind of scout and see what the first few encounters could be uh, for, the, obviously, the first few routes. Soda Pop. Nice. We got a, a cheap, another cheap little healing item. Uh, I missed the encounter up on Route 46 last time, so I want to make sure at least this time around I go to do that. Metatype. Uh, that's actually helpful for me. I, yeah, that's perfect. That's a great type advantage. A Nightshade? Oh, good. Natu was the choice, man. Natu was absolutely the choice. 
We got psychic coverage already. I'm oh, sorry, no, nightshade, nightshade, nightshade. Yeah, that's psychic, right? Or is that ghost? I think that's ghost, actually. So we've got flying coverage, and I think we got ghost, which is pretty dope for a psychic flying type. And it's got room to grow into Zatu also. All right, I like this one. Burb? How about this? I'm not going to say you are going to stick around for a while, but do me a favor. Stick around for a while. Let's see how far we can get with you. Because I'm feeling encouraged. Let's go heal real quick. I am very curious. I just want to take a look and see Nightshade now, because now now, now I'm, I'm doubting myself and questioning. I, I really think it's a ghost type. We'll see, guys. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments. Ah, it's a ghost type. I was right. Yeah, let's go. Tell me I was right in the comments. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's 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 not good. All right, let's get going up to Route 30 here. Actually, wait a minute. No, I don't have Pokeballs yet. I'm still scouting. I'm so I'm so ready to just keep going with the with the Nuzlocke that I just I just I I'm like I'm thinking that I have the 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 balls for it. I, the, the Pokeballs for it rather. Let me back up here. A Citrus Berry. That's actually. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put that on Burb right now. Mm, yeah. You know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Uh, you, you know what? Nah. I'll be sorry later. That's fine. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, well, thanks for the apricorn box there, sir. Let me grab this green apricorn here. The classic green apricorn to start the day. A green apricorn a day uh, keeps the do- Ooh, I want Gligar. But it keeps the doctor away, that's for sure. Nightshade, and that's actually perfect for Nightshade, uh, for, for the sake of Nuzlocking, because Nightshade will only do... That's so bad. That's so bad, the poison. Okay. Um, well, let me... Let me crush Ludicolo and get some... Oh my god, that's so bad. We got the speed for it, which is perfect, but otherwise I'm being risky with Burb. There's no reason for me to be as reckless with Burb as I'm currently being, but here I am, being reckless, wild, pouring through the turns... Burb. Don't you die on me, Burb. Don't you die on me, Burb! You're not allowed to die on me, damn it! Which, that does what? One or two? That does one. Okay, so I've got 11 ticks left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! That's so scary! Save my Burb, please! He's poisoned. Help him. He's a poison burb, aka poison barb. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, you know what? At that being said, since considering there are Gligar on this route, let me absolutely grab some antidote now. Considering I don't really, I don't want to run into an issue later. Uh, I'll grab the paralyzed heals also because why not? Uh, I already got the couple of potions, so we'll just we'll just hang on to those. All right. So I've got Gligar and Ludicolo on this route. Gligar again, and it knows Sandstorm. That's actually perfect for a Gligar. More Gligar. Okay, I like that it's the common uh, spawn on this route, too. So we, I, I like our odds of getting one for later on. Yo! A life orb? And it Dude, this is a great route. This is a great route. Okay, I, I like our chances here. We're going to end up getting a, a, a Sun Current later. Watch, check. Dude, there are so many good options on this route. Yo, there are so many great options on this route. Oh. Sorry, what? Shadow tag. Dude, I I want I want Spirit Tomb so badly. So I'm scared. Uh you, no Spirit Spirit Tomb. <laughs> Excuse. Excuse me. Excuse me. We don't it, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> Stop it. You're scaring my burb. Oh crap. Whew. Oh, that was spoopy. Okay. Dude. Spirit Tomb living up to the spirit to the spookiness. Seriously. I can't wait to get Pokeballs and come back to this route. I cannot wait. If the if the, if the rival beats me, I'm gonna be so upset, man. This is this is the, the best route that I've seen so far. Ever since the first run with you know with the, the, the Suicune, the Empoleon route, I mean the Kakuna was the weakest thing on that route. The weakest thing on this route was what? I I mean Gligar? Ludicolo, maybe? I don't know, man. I, 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 but this is this is this is out of its mind. I'm gonna have a hard time getting through this route actually on the way uh, to Violet City. All right, 
yes, Elm, I know you are getting ransacked by my rival. Uh, I think I want to heal quickly. I think I need to heal quickly. No, okay, Burb is ready to go. Burb has never felt better. Ooh, Bidoof. I'm going to end up with the Bidoof. I just know it. I just know it. Everything that's crazy on this route, I'm going to get the Bidoof. I'm calling it right now. I don't know if this is like a self-fulfilling prophecy if I'm speaking it into existence or I'm going to get mopped. No, dude, there's so many good things. Don't let me end up with one of those. I'm begging you. I'm begging you from now till the end of days. Please let me get the good Pokemon, not the not the not the poopy Mothum. I would be happy with Bidoof compared to Mothum. I would so Oh man, I'd be over the moon for any of the others. Spirit I mean legitimately Spirit is one of my favorite Pokemon. So that would be absurd. I mean that would be that would make me a happy goat. <clears throat> okay, he picked the camera up. I feel like we're okay here. I mean, Nightshade should be fine regardless of the, of the yeah, the growling. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, we're right through the rival battle. That's that's awesome. What are we going to name our rival this time around, huh? Should I just name him Guy? Just, ah, uh, the guy right there. Yes. Good old Reds. I might just name him Reds. Just straight up. <laughs> All right, let's bring it on back to New Bark Town. Oh, uh, wrong way. Uh, that's, that's a dead end. No outlet. That is the way I want to go. A way I can go. Perfect. All right, back to the lab. Back to the lab again. Back in the lab again. Cooking it up. With the professor and Lyra. Uh, yes, I got his name. It was... Reds. I mean, hell, the antagonists and protagonists in this in this series are always named after colors anyway. Why the hell can't I name mine after a color? <laughs> Sweet. All right, hey, Professor Bar here's the egg, by the way. Let me, uh, I'll get that back from you in a little bit. I'll take this Pokedex with me. I'll go talk with Lyro, go learn how to, th how to catch some Pokemon. Uh, I'm curious to see what Lyra's Meryl turns into. I'm curious to see what she could possibly catch on this route. What I could possibly catch on this route. Also, let me know in the comments below, is Lyra going to catch this Sneasel with her Meganium at her disposal? What do you think? Flip that coin right now. Because here we go! She got it! If those who said yes, you're right. Those who said no, and thought they said yes, you're lying. <laughs> Alright, so I've got Pokeballs now. The run has begun. Let's get into it. Let's see who our first encounter could be. Route 29. Metatite. Okay. This is a Pokemon. <laughs> this is one of the many Pokemon. They're one of the many, uh, over 1,020 Pokemon, dude. I just did that much damage with Nightshade. That was 8 damage. Meditite is frail. But, I mean, it's our encounter. We might as well go for it. Oh, why, why not? <laughs> no, this is not a why not. This is a Meditite. And it was just as easy as that. Okay. Uh, what do I want to name you, Meditite? I'm going to name you, um... Uh, I wish I could name it a fake hit on top because it's basically what it is. Um, fake on top. Perfect. Oh, I love how that works. Fake on top. <laughs> uh, makes me happy. That's what matters, right? Uh, so on to the. Uh, let's see what fake on top has at its disposal here. Uh, true. Oh my god. Wow, this thing is fodder. That's all I can say about that. <clears throat> all right, so that's probably one of the worst abilities, probably the worst ability I've ever seen on a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke. So Fake on Top is completely fodder to me. That really, I mean, really everything at this point is experience for Burb. Uh, on this route, I'm not even like, I'm not even, Huntail would have been better, but I'm not even sure I, 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 I'm thrilled about Huntail. I, I, I mean, fake when top literally just comes out in a pivot situation to die. There's no reason. I, I mean, I I don't know if I really am at the luxury to say no reason, but... I, oh, come on! I could come, come on, man. Uh, knowing that I'm at a type disadvantage, though, electric to flying, I'm just going to run away from that. Let's go take a look at 46 here, because I forgot this one last time. And see what we can get out of this. The barrel. Honestly, honestly, this is okay. 
Because Dupes Claws exist. So if I catch a barrel here with Sandstorm, that's actually kind of cool too. Sandstream. Uh, if I catch a barrel here, this is kind of okay because of the fact that uh, it allows me to... If I get Bidoof on Route 30, where all the crazy Borksmons are, then I can just... Uh, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at this. Then I can call Dupes on, on 30 and get a better uh, counter chance. There's so many good ones on 30. I'd rather I'd rather get that, you know? If a barrel. Work with me, man. Just work with me a little, just a teensy little bit here. I've got, I've got enough Pokeballs to spare here. All right, I'm gonna do a little damage to you. I'm gonna do a Nightshade. I, I, it's we, just a list, just a teensy little night. I'm not gonna do a thing to you. Apparently, I'm not even gonna hit you with a Peck because it could probably take you down. I'm, I, I oh my goodness gracious. Uh, I mean, I guess I should let the Sandstorm leer it down or, 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 or weaken it down a little bit. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage to me, and I can take a couple of hits, apparently. I'm going to throw the ball from here. I got two more and a dream, really, at this point. Come on, Barrel. Don't do not do me dirty like this. I've got such a great idea. Cooking with Route 30. Don't do me like this, man. I can't hit you with the Sandstorm. Or with, with, the, with the Nightshade, rather. I'm just, honestly, I'm just going to keep leering until it's down to red health. I say, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Well then! <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna keep do I'm gonna go for that strat anyway because it makes the most sense. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up Burb though. Alright. I know I can't lower its defense anymore, so I'm just I'm just hoping at this point. It just works at this point. If it if it starts to struggle, I'm gonna be in some deep doo-doo. Alright, I feel like one more. And then I, you know what, one more, and then I can heal. And now I can let it go into red health. Okay. Come on, all right, one more, one more for low health. There we go, perfect. All right, now we go for the Pokeball. Last shot here. Come on. The barrel! What are we, what are we doing here? All this careful effort. I learned tell oh teleport okay yo burb is broken I'm I'm happy about not I don't want to say broken but burb is pretty good right now I'm happy about that I'm getting zero help on these encounters though Ursa ring that's a solid one I wish that uh, dude I got fake on top oh wait I've got the chance to get this green Ac green acorn too oh boy all right let's uh let's keep rocking and rolling let's get back to Cherry Grove let's go get some more pokeballs and then let's go hope and pray I get a solid encounter out of uh, Route 30. Alright, not to and meditate, not to and meditate. The dream team at my disposal. Pokeballs is what I require. I'm gonna buy as many as I can, quite frankly. Oh, you know what? No, I am not. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some potions first. Uh, let's see, I'll go for four. That gives me the chance to get seven Pokeballs. I think that's a wise decision at this point. Because there are some there are some solid Pokemon out there in this route that I feel like I'm gonna struggle to catch them anyway. Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm hoping for here, but I just I know the two that I don't want. I know the two that I oh, okay, okay. On to better grass, bigger grass. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, listen. But you know what? I, we're we're I, the, the the best thing about uh Nuzlocke, and they don't tell you this at Nuzlocke school. Um, but, but the best thing about it is that it, the, the further into a uh, route that you go, the better your encounter chance is possible. Or possibly, I, I can't word right now. I'm, I'm so I'm so I'm so nervous. I want a good encounter. <laughs> Flag, bro. Flagon, nice, nice. Sa Ooh, uh, I I really have no dis shroomish. I mean, I really I need another encounter so I can share some experience that uh, Zot that that Natsu doesn't over level for Faulkner. Okay, here's my encounter. What do we got? Coughing. You, I didn't even know you were a possibility, man. Watch it explode on me now. All right, Nightshade will lower you a little bit. Oh, man. I get zero love from these encounters, man. The Nuzlocke and the, the game, the, 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 the Nuzlocke gods, they really make me work for it, you know? All right, we'll get coughing at least. Have that added to the squad. 
call this one, uh... Hey, do you want to name one of my Pokemon? Well, you can. Become a member of the channel and you can name a Pokemon for life. Also, consider donating with a super thing. I'll be super grateful and you'll keep getting more great content. Okay, shameless self-plug over. Now back to the video. I'm, I'm gonna call them Stacks. Like Smoke Stacks. Uh, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make him a badass. I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna name him Stacks, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him edgy. Cause he's a, cause it's a coughing. All right. Uh, I'm, I am curious to see what Stax has to offer, though. Lightning Rod. Okay. I mean, that could be great in a pivot situation. Knowing, like, an electric move's coming in. Uh, heightened attack, lowered defense. It's got poison gas and tackle. Okay. That's... I, I don't I don't hate that one. I really don't hate that one. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm inhaling the copium, though, knowing what I could have gotten in this route. I am going to heal this one up with the... One of the four potions I have. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to move on to uh, this this battle and the encounter on 31. Cast form. Hilarious. Jump pluff. Uh, you know what? I actually, I do want to go into stacks. I want to start getting stacks, some uh, experience, and some levels. I can poison the jump pluff, which is perfect. And honestly, just... Ooh, I don't know about, I don't know about all that. Uh, that, hmm. That's that's dicey. We're getting we're getting to a point where I'm I'm worried about my Pokemon already. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go to Fake Top and just we'll just we'll go for the Yolo approach, right? Because the poison was gonna work for us anyway. That's perfect. Okay, and honestly, Fake Top can maybe take a hit or so now, which is perfect. That that doesn't hurt. That, I, I I don't I don't hate this. This is accidental, you know, happy accidents, happy little accidents, like Bob Ross would say. That's that's those are the accidents that I live for. All right, Route 31, uh, do I have to heal anybody up before going out here? Not particularly, but let's go for it. Let's see what we got. Nothing. All right, cool. Same principle applies, except we're going to get better luck than we had with coughing. Uh, I might save Dark Cave based on the encounter I get here. I am going to go past Bugcatcher Wade this time, though, so I can kind of have a little bit more of an avenue to uh, Violet in case I need it for healing. Because I'd rather do that than waste all my potions. Brother, are you kidding me? We're straight to Violet City? That's awesome. I can go back after healing. This is in the, this is incredible. Um, although honestly, this has been kind of a long part already. This is a continuation of the last part, so I'm gonna probably cut it here. It's deja vu all over again. Right back where we started with a whole new squad. Will this be the run which we prevail over the sages? Or will we be standing here again a week from now? Only one way to find out. Tune in next Sunday for part four of the Johto journey.